Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome to the show, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing start to the new year. So happy new year to everyone. Very excited to be connecting in with you as we are looking ahead at 2018 and all that it will bring to us and all that we're going to say yes to. So let's breathe that in. Excitement and celebration and purposefulness. Because I find this time of year, we've done some reflection on last year and what was brought forward and what wasn't and what we're celebrating and what we're releasing and what we're choosing to bring forward. And then we're looking ahead at this whole calendar of time that we get to fill, that we get to make choices around. It's like a brand new year and we actually get a brand new start at it every single day. And today, I wanted to bring you some great experts that can really help you be purposeful and intentional. Both of these experts are just amazing women, big hearts, very successful, and they're going to share candidly with us around our purpose, around our visibility, and around our wealth, choices that we're making in all of these areas. So that's kind of what we're going to dig into today. But I want to make sure you're ready and available to get everything that is here for you today. So I wanted to give you a couple of things to be thinking about. And then we're going to pause and listen and really see what's being laid on our heart. Now, when I look at a brand new year, it reminds me of a brand new stack of of yellow notepads. I, I don't know if any of you are fans of yellow notepads, but I am. I love them. And I like the, the narrow ruled because I can fit lots of things on each and every page. And my favorite notepad size is the eight and a half by 11, or I think it's actually a little bit bigger than that. And it has lines across it. 50 pages, and every time I look at a blank page on that notepad, it represents new opportunities. It represents something I get to bring to life, bring into reality. Like before I write it on that paper, before I write it in my calendar, it's a thought, it's an idea and an intention. But when I bring it forward into reality, birth it onto that page, it becomes part of who I am and what I do. And then I look to have actions match my goal there, that I really deliberately make choices that say yes to those things that I'm putting on that yellow notepad that I'm wanting to bring forward in my life, both professionally and personally. So I really use the yellow notepad (laughs) to do that. And I don't know why yellow ended up being my favorite color with it, but it is. I've tried lots of different colors. Keep coming back to that yellow. (laughs) And I love calendars that I can see and start making each of those things not only be on my yellow notepad, be on a list of coming forward into reality, but assigning a date and a time to them helps them have a way that they're coming forward in the world, a way that they're being seen. And I feel like we can do this with our life, that personally and professionally, we can bring those ideas, we can bring those intentions, we can bring those goals forward into reality. Because something I find is we can have this someday list. Someday I'll do this, or when this happens, then I'll do this. But unless we make it now, we commit to that time and to that date and to making it a reality and having actions to make it happen, it is always someday, and it's never today. And I want you to have everything that you long to have, everything that you have in your heart to build and bring forth to not be someday, but to become today, to become a reality now and that happens now starting now going forward it doesn't happen tomorrow it doesn't start next week it's starting now by claiming it and taking steps and becoming what we need to become so that we can go where we want to go and be what we want to be and that happens by the choices 
that we make. And that's why I want to focus on um, things with great purpose and intention. Because if we keep doing the same things we've always done or operate in automatic, we're going to get the same kind of results. And if we're wanting something different, we have to do something different. We have to be different in what we say yes to, what we say no to. And then make sure our actions are actually equally, they're, they're adding up to where we're wanting to go. Because I can say all day long, I want to um, build my muscle strength and I want to um, be able to lift a certain weight. But if I never pick up a weight, I never build those muscles, that's not going to magically happen. <laughs> so I need to take the steps have the actions add up to the future that I'm wanting to build. And it starts today. That's how we can predict the future. That's how we can bring what we want forward. And today with our experts focusing in on being visible, how to really be seen, because we cannot make the difference we want to make in the world if nobody knows who we are, if they don't know what we stand for. So it's really important we find a way to be seen and bring our gifts forward. And then we're going to talk about being purposeful because things don't just magically happen. We get to be part of that equation and bringing it forward and then looking at our finances. I find frequently that's a New Year's resolution. <laughs> That we want to have some movement in our relationship with money or how we're looking at it or, or where we are in it. And so today our experts are going to support us in these key areas. But I want us to have the groundwork laid of really looking at what it is that we want to bring forward, how we're going to play within that equation and what it is that we need. So I'm going to give you a moment to just absorb that information and see how it's hitting you. See where it's striking you, what is striking a chord within you and resonating with you. And breathe that in. Beautiful. And those of you who are driving, I always want you to stay safe and alert. So no texting and driving, just inwardly tuning in. But those of you who are able to, I invite you to be fully present, really put both feet on the ground, feel it supporting you. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on the top of your head, bringing all of you in and close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Expand your belly. And then breathe out through your mouth like through a straw. Great. Do that again. This kind of breathing will bring you fully present. It'll lower your cortisol levels, your stress levels, and make it where you're able to be fully present, mind, body, soul, and spirit, and receive. Because I want you to get everything that is here for you today. Keep breathing. It's not an accident that you are here listening, tuning in right now, this moment in time. That means there is something here for you. So I ask you, as you think about what we were talking about earlier, about the new year and what you're wanting to bring forth and what if you had a yellow notepad, what you would be writing on that and bringing into reality. What is it that you need? to support you in that? What is it that will encourage you, empower you, bring you forth? What is it that you need to support you on your journey and you are willing to receive because you have choice? What is it that you need and are willing to receive? Just breathe that in. Capture that information. It can come sometimes in a phrase or a word or a sound or a color. All of our senses can communicate with us. So receive what that is. Come back in the room, fully present, eyes open. And I invite you to write that down, what it is that you need and are willing to receive. It's so easy in the hustle and bustle of life to forget what it is that we need. And it can be standing right in front of us and we can miss it because we're distracted. 
So I want you to keep it top of mind, fully present, that you need this and are willing to receive it real time today in whatever form it may come. Just take that in. Beautiful. And I'm going to go around our virtual room just to see what was laid on our experts' hearts. So, Lisa, I'd love to start with you. Did you have something laid on your heart when we just paused for a moment and connected in? Mm, Well, yeah, for sure. Um, One of the things that I noticed that I I really need to uh, be open to is, is moving forward and not not hanging on to my past habits or patterns of the way I think. For instance, I just had somebody say, oh, yeah, this this technique and, and my help will get you to, you know, X amount of whatever. And it was a, a big, it was a big amount. And I, my, I just went, oh, I, I'm not ready for that. You know, so mm-hmm. being open and not having that stop me, not ha- being, being observant of those patterns and habits of my thoughts and not letting oh. it stop me. Beautiful reminder and so timely for this time of year as we're looking ahead to be aware of those things and, and to be open and to make a choice, you know, of, of not having the habits drive us, but really um, pausing and seeing what makes sense to move forward in. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. You're welcome. And Monica, I would love to know what was laid on your heart. Yeah, thanks for asking. Um, so... I find that I spend so much time in my head these days because there's so many things that I'm trying to do in my business all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And so what really came to me is to just be inspired. Um, Go back to that place when it was fun and playful and I was inspired. And, um, And just start off this year with my planning with inspiration, Mm. Uh, because I'm feeling like I'm losing some of that fun, which is such a big deal for me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so for me, it was really the word inspiration came like in a huge letters, all sparkly in front of my head. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so I just want to be inspired, be open to the inspiration and be willing to take action on what I'm inspired to do. Oh, I love that. And I know joy and bliss is so um, important to you and so much a part of who you are. So I love that you're, you know, recognizing that and choosing to um, be inspired and uh, make sure that that continues to be a big part of your life. And I love that it came in sparkly. That doesn't surprise me at all, knowing you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so I love that we celebrate that about you yeah, beautiful thanks for sharing <laughs> and listeners as we get ready to go into our first commercial break here I want to invite you to stay present resist the urge to uh, run off and cross things off your to-do list really focus on staying present and give yourself that gift of these two minutes to really let whatever is being spoken into your heart fully come forward, whether it's in sparkly letters or it's being aware of certain patterns, whatever information is coming forth, I want you to receive that fully. And then we will look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Voice America Women, your passion starts here. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. 
Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. For women, the pressure to achieve is stronger, the work hours longer, and the struggle for respect and authority more complex than ever. You want guidance on how to succeed, and you are not alone. You're invited to take your coffee break with Game Changers on Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern for our special series, Game Changing Women. Powerful women leaders will help you make sense of it all, analyze how you can change the game, and share their playbooks. Game Changing Women, presented by SAP on the Business Channel. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes and really gave yourself the gift and the opportunity of two minutes of just processing what is being laid on your heart, not having anything on the to-do list other than being present and receiving. You're going to have opportunities throughout the show to do that. I encourage you to really embrace those two minutes and give yourself that gift of processing real time what is being laid on your heart and spoken into your spirit. I was appreciating behind the scenes, a little behind the scenes moment. Because while you guys are having your two-minute moments and getting to connect, we're chit-chatting a little bit behind the scenes. And something I observed is when I'm around empowering powerful, positive women, there's almost this um, vibrational, joyful energy that happens. And that was happening behind the scenes. So I hope that you're going to feel that echoing out as each of these amazing women share from their heart and their spirit that they come from such a high vibration and joyful place. I know that you're going to be inspired and encouraged. So our first guest expert that I wanted to introduce to you, her name is Lisa, and she is an online visibility strategy expert. So there's all these different ways we can communicate online, and she helps you have a strategy around that. She has over 25 years experience, is a radio show host, a video show host, and is absolutely passionate about helping people stand out, be seen, and become client magnets. <laughs> Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Lisa Measles to the show. Welcome! <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. So happy to have you joining us. And I, I wanted to start our conversation on a personal level. You know, why... This work of helping people navigate through the visibility opportunities, really being seen out there and, and attracting clients. I love the client magnet concept. They come to you. Why is that personally so important to you? That is personally my journey. So I um, grew up kind of as, as a, an outsider, feeling like I was an outsider and I always wanted to fit in. And I... That, that that kind of displayed itself throughout my whole life, wanting to fit in, wanting to be normal, wanting to just blend in. And when you are online, you can't blend in. <laughs> You've got mm-hmm. to stand out. And so it took me a long time. I started online in 2010. And coming from a background of health and wellness, we didn't learn about promoting ourselves. We didn't learn about how to be ourselves and get out there. In fact, I had put layers upon layers of protection around me, which looked like extra certifications and, you know, credentials and all of these things that, that were my identity so that I didn't have to really look inside. And entrepreneurship is, is a, a personal journey. And we have to get through the blocks that come up. And these obstacles that come up are things like, I... You know, a lot of my clients say, I want to be visible, but I don't want to be seen yes. for who I am. 
So that that's my personal journey, and that's why I'm really passionate about helping people really stand in their power and claim their brilliance and get out there and just be themselves. I love that, and I appreciate you sharing that you have really walked that journey and kind of come through. I mean, you're visible in so many ways now, which is just beautiful that you were able to come through those blocks and now can really help others. And I agree. I see that all the time in the world of visibility, you know, that people, they want to make a difference. They want to help people. They want to have a big impact, but can they do it without being seen so much or quite so no. <laughs> visible and, and you're not able to, so you have to be willing and, and we can't hide behind those masks. And so I love that you're emphasizing their brilliance and how they're uniquely and wonderfully made. So just beautiful work that you do. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, keeping all of that in mind, and uh, we're looking at a whole brand new year here, how can we start moving forward in this area with intention and, and get some traction around our visibility? Well, I love what you said at the beginning of, of thinking about who you want to become. Because if we operate from where we are, we're not going to move ahead um, and, and reach our goals. We're going to always be looking at where we are stuck. Mm-hmm. And so thinking about, and that doesn't, not to say don't be present. That's not what I mean. I mean, when you're making intentions and when you're thinking about where you want to be and who you want to, who you want to be and how you want to impact people, it's so important to live from that place of who you want to become and, and really start to visualize that. Who do you want to become? What do you want to happen? How do you want to show up in the world and start being that now? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And so it sounds like really taking some time to dig into that deeply so that we have clarity around that and are able to move forward in the way that we want to be seen. And, and I would love to know how this ties into purpose, because I know that's important to you, too. It's a theme I've heard from you a lot. So as we're looking at that and we're looking at how we're wanting to show up and how we're wanting to be seen and what we want to see come forward, how does that tie into purpose and, and living on purpose? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I I truly believe that we are all here on earth for a reason. And I believe that our past experiences, our past traumas and challenges have been given to us as gifts so that we can um, move through them and help other people and together bring light to the planet. That That's truly what I believe. Mm-hmm. And so living on purpose, the, the way to navigate how to, how to know if you're living on purpose is if you are having joy in your life, if you are excited about life, if you're waking up going, yes, I'm so excited and getting through the, the things that may be hard or challenging or, or, you know, you have to overcome, but it's exciting to overcome them. It's, it's maybe a little scary, but it's not, it is in alignment. So it's living in alignment with, with following the joy. That's what. Mm-hmm. That's how you know you're on purpose is when you are living in joy. I I love that. And do you have a a step or a place that some an action that we can take to start to dial into that and move um, a step closer to our joy to living on purpose? Well, yeah, for sure. I think taking time for yourself is really important. We we are all so busy and bombarded by, you know, so much stimulation. It's really important to step aside and have time for yourself, have some quiet time to meditate, to visualize, to be creative, and to do things that bring you joy. I mean, it could be, Rebecca, it could be just a second. You know, I don't know if you've ever waited for a microwave to finish for a minute to heat up your stuff, and it seems like, oh my gosh, this minute is taking so long. (laughs) That minute, right? (laughs) That minute could be walking out to your car in the morning and seeing a beautiful flower and taking the time to go over to it and smell it and look at its beauty because that's what makes you happy. Or it could be, you know, stopping to look at a bird that's, you know, a hummingbird or 
kissing your child or whatever it is that brings you joy that we often say, I'm too busy. I, I can't do that. I've got to go. I can't, you know, it's like we're always in that thinking in the future and yeah. not thinking presently and what brings us joy. So stopping to, to really enjoy life because it just can be a second that really lifts your vibration for the rest of the day. I, I love what you're sharing because what what is speaking into my spirit as you're as you're sharing this is like one minute, one minute at a time, we can do these things. And how um, a little bit frightening it can be that we are oh, this minute's taking so long. Like we're trying to rush our life to the next thing, to yeah. the next thing, to the next thing. Like we're accelerating. Um, yeah we're missing our life by trying to rush it forward all the time and get past this minute and that minute when exactly. we can actually and then, be embracing exactly. it. Yes. Yes. And then the minutes are gone. It's like, you know, mm-hmm. then the, the kids are grown and, and you're, you know, your life is just fast forwarding because you're not present. Yeah. And you can't save it up for later. <laughs> like, like this is, no. you get a new 24 <laughs> hours each, each day. So um, I yeah. love what you're sharing and how we can really increase our vibration and our joy and be very present and purposeful every single day, one, one minute at a time. I really appreciate that. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, you're welcome. And listeners, I, I hope that you're listening in and really tuning into what's being spoken into your heart and spirit. And maybe there's something you can make. A, I like making lists. Maybe you're not a list person, but maybe there's a uh, something that you're wanting to step into, that you're wanting to build. The next time you have one of those minutes, whether it's on the microwave or you're waiting or whatever it may be, that you're going to start doing these things or you're going to embrace this. What is one of those things or, or making a little short list of things that you're going to give to yourself, you're going to enjoy one moment at a time to lift your spirit, to lift your heart, to lift your vibration, to bring that joy in that we can fully embrace our life one minute at a time, choosing to embrace that moment instead of trying to rush through it. So I really encourage you as we go into our next commercial break, guess what? Two minutes. You've got two minutes right there (laughs) that you can think about those things and see what's being spoken on your heart and maybe even implement one of those activities. We'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. This is the Voice America Women's Channel, where your success is limitless. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Relationship issues? Anxious? Parenting challenges? No more. Learn to live your best life. Tune into Straight Talk with top therapist, relationship, and anxiety expert, Sandra Reich. Learn to transform your challenges into effective solutions. Whether it's relationships, parenting, anxiety, or other traps, Sandra will show you how you can live the life of your dreams. Listen live every Thursday afternoon at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog, Press Pass? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective. Plus, topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at VAPressPass.com. That's VAPressPass.com. VA Press Pass by Voice America. All access, all the time. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. 
Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes that you had the opportunity to just be luxuriously present, really receive what is being spoken into your heart and spirit, and perhaps even tested out one of those one minute activities that you can do or way of being in that one minute. I think it's really great to kind of plan ahead of time, plan on enjoying those one minutes, (laughs) delays, pauses, waiting for the microwave, whatever it may be, rather than trying to rush through them. So I really appreciated Lisa's insight on that. And we are now going to talk to our next expert and I wanted to introduce her to you because we're going to be digging into bliss and wealth. So Monica is the creator of Blissful, the Blissful Real Estate Formula. It's the only Blissful Real Estate Formula I know. So she's the creator of that international best-selling author. She's one of the most joyful people you will ever meet. I know you're going to love that about her. She's an executive coach over 10 years experience in that, has been featured on international radio shows, ABC, NBC, and Fox. She is absolutely passionate, underline, explanation point, about helping you step into your blissful wealth. Please warmly welcome to the show the amazing Monica Sawyer. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. It's so nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome. I hope you imagine those sparkles <laughs> right down did, on you. I did. We're bringing Those fireworks. Them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Love it. Glad to have you here today. And I know this this subject of bliss is something that is so near and dear to your heart. And I would love for you to share with our listeners today why this work of helping people are in a blissful way, really step into their bliss, not only in their life, but in their finances as well. Why is that personally so important to you? You know, I um, so I had a really, really difficult childhood. Um, I was the only non-white person in the town that I lived in, and so was constantly humiliated and tormented. Mm-hmm. And so, as a as a young person, I didn't really understand what happiness was. I saw it in my parents, but I didn't know that I was ever going to be able to have it. So, it became kind of my life mission to find happiness. How could I live a joyful life in spite of sort of what was going on around me? And one of the things that I found is that we can't control anything that goes on around us. We can't control people. We can't control circumstances, but we can always control how we choose to respond. Mm. And yes, that, and because of that, I have been able to build techniques and strategies that would then help me to be more blissful. And then as I became an executive coach, one of the things that I found was the the most difficult part of their life, like the big reason why their businesses weren't working, was that they weren't happy anymore. They weren't joyful. They weren't motivated. They weren't excited. Like what Lisa was saying, they weren't excited Mm -hmm. about getting up in the morning and what they were doing, you know? And so then I took all the strategies that I learned and started to teach them how to be more joyful and their businesses did better and um, their lives came back together, their marriages came back together, you know? 
So, ah. so that was all really great. And then as I moved out into coaching kind of a broader range of people, so now we're talking about entrepreneurs Actually, and that sort of thing. Monica, if I can have you pause just for a moment, because you, you've just shared so much great information <laughs> that I, I, yeah, I want to give us a moment to just absorb that and... To me, what I'm hearing you say is you really helped people tap into that joy, kind of put life back in their life and choose right. to do that on purpose and with purpose. And listeners, just something to, to pause and think about a little bit. Are you consciously doing that, bringing that joy in, bringing um, life, those things that matter to you into your daily life? Or is that getting squeezed out a little bit? Because it's so key to being joyful, to being blissful, to bring that life kind of back into your life deliberately and purposefully. Oh, yeah. just give us a moment of pause. Mm-hmm. No, you're fine. Go ahead, please. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I love it. Say, <laughs> without it, I mean, sort of what's this all for? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So, but the other thing that's really happened is that as I talk about bliss, one of the things that I find is that people have this idea that you only have, can have bliss in certain areas of your life. Like you can have bliss in your relationships. You might be able to have bliss in your business, whatever. But they, it's like they segregate things. And the thing is that in order to truly be joyful and happy, you have to be the same person everywhere. Yes. Uh, you have to experience your own joy and be alive and be yourself and be true to yourself in all areas of your life. And that includes your investing. It includes your business. It includes your, you know, how you work out. It includes everything, right? Mm-hmm. And when people think about money, they tend to get really freaked out. That's the place where they're like, what are you talking about? Around, what do you mean by bliss with wealth building? You know, that's just money. That's just numbers. But the thing is, if you do that, you're not able to build wealth in a way that's sustainable for you. And if you're not able to build wealth that's sustainable for you, you're not going to be able to move forward in the world and do your work in the very biggest way because you're going to constantly be worried about how you're going to pay the bills or how you're going to support yourself. If you can free all that energy up so that that is taken care of, then you can go out there and be your biggest, best self and impact so many more people. Yes. And that's why I move towards blissful wealth is because I know there's so many amazing people that don't allow themselves to believe that they can be wealthy and supported so that they can then take out their message to the world. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing and tying that together, bliss and wealth, because sometimes we categorize things and we put that in that box and we separate it <laughs> versus right. connecting in. And we're going to we're going to kind of keep coming up against that. So I love that you're kind of busting that myth that we can really have bliss beyond purpose and money that can all come together and it is actually key and important that it comes together so that we can show up and not be drained and not be worried um, financially but really being able to build um, consistent substantial wealth and I know that's something that you've created a really powerful formula about and that it's part of your passion to help people have financial freedom around this. So I'd love for you to just share a little bit about that, how your formula is really designed to help people build financial formula. uh, I'm sorry, financial freedom (laughs) with your formula. There we go. (laughs) And how, and how, how that ties into purpose. Oh, okay. So, um, so the formula I take into account two things. Mm-hmm. Warren Buffett says, if you can't control your your emotions, you can't control your money. Mm. And so when we're talking about bliss, we're really talking about emotional resilience and emotional mastery. Because when you have that, you can bring yourself back to a place of joy from anywhere that you have traveled to. So, you know, if you're upset, you're (laughs) challenged, you're angry, right? You can come back (laughs) because you've got the skills back to a place of bliss. Mm -hmm. So now when you, you marry that with building wealth, you can now build wealth in a sustainable way so that when challenges come up, you're able to deal with them from a place of, um, 
problem solving rather than from stress. So my favorite way of building wealth is through real estate because it's, it's, intu- it's very, very intuitive. And so my formula has been, in, um, the formula that I put together is about how to build wealth in real estate. But mm-hmm. you don't have to use real estate. It's my favorite vehicle. The thing is to just remember what I really want people to, under- to get today is just remember that how you think about everything is going to impact how you feel about everything. So start to think about developing emotional mastery so that whatever vehicle you choose, whether it's real estate, which I think is incredibly powerful, it has been the thing that has retired me, it paid for my education, that's what my parents used for, you know, my education, our weddings, and their own retirement, right? So... That's the vehicle that we have used in our family, and it's something that I have 25 years' experience with. However, it's not the only vehicle. But the thing that's really, really important is to understand that emotional mastery, choosing bliss in that area, is going to be the thing that will allow you to create sustainable wealth long-term so that you can build the dreams that you want. Now, how does that tie into purpose? Um it can help you to support your purpose. Yeah. Which, do you understand what I'm saying? I don't, I, I don't know that. I do, and I, I love what you're saying because when we can build this emotional resilience, when we can build this um, relationship and use those skill sets, what I'm hearing is it's transferable <laughs> to our money and to our wealth. That exactly. we can use those same muscles and that will enable us to step forward in our purpose. But when we're always drained or in conflict, our emotions are running wild. It's hard to keep moving forward on those things that are important to us. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And there's so many of us out there that are like, um, we're, you know, we're out there working, we're trying to do good work in the world. And somehow we feel like we don't deserve to be paid. And we do. I mean, if we don't get paid, how are we going to do our work? You know? Yes. Um, and, and I like to say money, and I, <laughs> this is a little <laughs> controversial. People will say money is the root of all evil, right? Well, I say ready, money can be the root of all good, too. What amazing things can you do if, you're, if you are just free from worrying about money, right? And actually so having it's really it about who you. you. Are. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, a, it, you know, money is an amplifier of who you truly are. Yes. So if you want to do good things in the world, it will allow you to do bigger good things in the world, you know? An underlined explanation point. And we are getting ready for our next two-minute moment. So this is a perfect, perfect time that we can shift over to that. And listeners, um, what I want you to do is really think about your relationship with money. And, and is there one? And how do you want that to be? And if you were able to tap into that and build a strong relationship and that resilience Monica has been talking about, think about how it can amplify your purpose and your impact in the world. I want to give you these next two minutes to connect in with that. And when you come back, we have some final tips and um, ideas to support you to live on purpose and with purpose. We'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Voice America Women's Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. 
Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. We're making it easier to listen to the Voice America Talk Radio Network wherever you go. In addition to listening live, you can check out information about your favorite talk show hosts, discover new talk show personalities, add shows to your list of favorites, and listen to all our show archives on demand. All from your iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android. Download it from the Apple App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market, and get ready to tune in. The Voice America mobile app, powered by Aircast. The Voice America Women's Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes and that you've been enjoying our time together. It is such an honor and a privilege to connect in with all of you heart to heart as we look at 2018 and how to step forward on purpose. And with great purpose. I feel like we, our guests today, and we have really wanted to pour into you on a heart level and on a practice level, like the practices that will help you step forward on purpose and with great purpose and a lot of joy. That's something else that I feel like has echoed throughout our time together and some really great tips and ideas of how to do that. And As I was talking with our guest experts behind the scenes, I asked if they had one final tip or idea or reminder that they wanted to pour into you before we sent you back out into the world, that we really wanted to share one more piece to encourage you and inspire you on your journey, that this can be our gift to help you live on purpose and with purpose. And so with that, Lisa, I would love for you to share what was laid on your heart. Yeah, thank you. And the simple thing is slow down to speed up. And I know probably people have heard that a million times, but be present in your life and live moment by moment and know that life, you know, whatever's happening in your life is happening for you to help Mm -hmm. you move up to the next level and become the observer instead of being stuck in it. And you can see it from a different perspective and gain some wisdom so that you can move forward knowing you're supported. And the thing I like to say and feel is that I know everything that happens is perfect. It's perfect for us, whatever's happening. So that's what I want to leave the listeners with. I love that. Thank you for sharing. And listeners, I want you to breathe that in. Beautiful. And and what was touching on my heart as you were sharing that, Lisa, that not only um, is it perfect and it can really, and, and appreciating each of those moments, I loved your microwave example, <laughs> that we can really <laughs> appreciate. That's a real practical way that we can be present and tie things in. And that sometimes we can be critical of ourselves or or others, but a lot of times of ourselves and seeing all of our imperfections. And I feel like we're perfect in our imperfections. Like we're made on purpose for how we're supposed to show up in the world. And it's, and it's about connection and authenticity and really being willing to connect and serve others. It's not about a image of some sort, but really bringing who we are forward and, allowing that perfection that is all around us and the diversity and the richness um, becoming part of us by that slowing down so we can move forward faster. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. And Monica, what was placed on your heart to share? You know, I think one of the biggest things that stands in the way of people doing the things they need to do to feel safe and secure is that they don't give themselves permission. Mm. And so 
what I really want people to get is to give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to do what Lisa's recommending and take some time for yourself and prioritize your own well-being. Also, give yourself permission to build the wealth and the security that you need to support you so you can be the very biggest, best you in the world. Mm, I it's, love it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And, you know, I just like to leave um, every talk that I do with one quote. Is that okay? Yes, that would be great. So remember, goals without action are just dreams. So get out there and take action and create the life that your heart most deeply desires. Beautiful. And I was and I was wanting to add, step into your bliss. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> That's the most important thing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I love your joy. I love your laughter. And listeners, you have this choice that you can step forward in in the ways that matter to you. You have choice and all of that. And for those of you who are waiting for permission, you heard it here. <laughs> Fully granted and you can grant it to yourself every single day. Every single day has a new beginning, moment by moment, minute by minute, that you can choose to move forward in those things that matter most to you. And our desire is to equip you and empower you to move forward in the things that matter to you, to share the gift of who you are with the world on purpose and with great purpose. Because just in case nobody reminded you today. You are an amazing gift to the world, exactly as you are, absolutely needed right now for such a time as this. I want you to breathe that in because the biggest gift you can give the world is more of you. So as you get ready to go back out into that world, I invite you to take two minutes, take five minutes, really give yourself that gift to process what has been spoken into your heart, that has been spoken into your spirit, that there is no one else just like you. And so be willing to share the gift of who you are with the world. Because no one else can do it for you. So let's take a moment and pause and breathe. I want you to feel to the very bottom of your toes all the way to the top of your head and beyond. How special you are. How valuable you are. And know that we are sending you love, joy, blessings, and can't wait to see you step out in the world powerfully to step forward in those things that matter most to you so that wherever you go whatever you do may you always always choose to bloom where you're planted and shine have an amazing week everyone happy new year's and we will look forward to talking to you next time Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.